most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. I was going to say something about like, you know, they were saved his bacon out there on the tarp. Oh, I figured uh, that would be too much like Dennis. That, that would be like Dennis. He would be proud of you for that. <laughs> but I, I had to check out that story. I want to see the details of that. Mm -hmm. All right, James, I, yes. are you avoiding the subject here? Do yes. you not like what today offers so far? Correct. Okay, well, that's what you, I thought. You caught me. <laughs> now, I will say this much. Even though radar has seemed like it's trying to rain outside, we have not seen very much rain to this point. And going back to yesterday, when we were showing you some of the model guidance. Pretty much everything has been wrong to this point. I will flat out admit it that the showers that were supposed to be here this morning did not materialize a lot of severe weather to our south. We're just dealing with a lot of the leftover cloud cover. So while it's not necessarily raining, we're still seeing the clouds there in Somerdale. Also in Mannheim, you can see that what well, used to be some convective clouds there strewn about across the sky. So again, leftover from thunderstorms last evening coming up from the south right now as we speak. Locking in temperatures for the most part in the mid 60s, but take a look at this. Perhaps some thinning of the clouds here over the Cumberland Valley, pushing numbers closer to 70. And I am seeing some clearing out there that we have to keep an eye on to our southwest. But in the meantime, an easterly flow for the majority of the mid state, keeping us locked in with cloud cover. Boy, this is a far cry from yesterday. Look at the official high. 85 degrees, not record setting, but certainly a lot warmer than today. Our hourly forecast calling for temperatures to peak in the middle to upper 60s for most. And then we kind of stay stable here through the night with clouds and some showers arriving. Now the latest timing shows the majority of the rain waiting until later tonight. It's all because we've had this warm front sitting over top of us. It's producing some showers, but it's really what comes in later tonight ahead of the cold front that provides a higher chance of rain. So again, during the afternoon, a few light showers around some periods of damp weather, but notice what happens here. We actually get some clearing into the late evening hours. Then the line of showers and storms develops after seven o'clock. And I know there are concerts happening tonight. There's outdoor activities. You definitely need the umbrella, but there could be some breaks where it's not raining through a good part of the evening. Then later tonight it gets going. Here's the unfortunate part about tomorrow. This area of low pressure lingers and we see off and on periods of light rain throughout the day. That adds up over time and it keeps things damp into Saturday morning. But perhaps the best news of all, now some clearing showing up on the on the daytime hours Saturday. Also the chance of a late day shower storm on Saturday itself, but it's not an all day rain. It appears on Saturday as things stand. So another look at this forecast, James. Yes, there are rain chances pretty much every day through Sunday, but we're trying to hone in on the details here. And again, what I want to mention is a higher chance of rain and storms later tonight. Today it will just be light showers, cooler weather, much cooler tomorrow, my friend, with more clouds Ooh. and showers around. But we're trying to salvage the weekend for mom. I think we're doing a fairly good job of that right now at this point. Yeah, it's stuck in the 50s tomorrow, though. Yeah, tomorrow is definitely the cool day, similar to last weekend, but hopefully better for Saturday and Sunday. Sounds good, Dan. Thank sure. you. Up next, say goodbye.